All right, problem 36 here. A scientist obtained a sample that contained 80 grams of radioactive barium-122 that decays exponentially. So it already tells us it's decaying exponentially, which means we're using the formula A times B to the X. B is going to be some fraction like 0.8 or 0.7 or 0.6. It's going to be something like that. And it's given us a chart. So we've got to go plot this chart in Desmos, this table. we got to put it in Desmos. It's going to be looking like this. Okay, and it's exponential decay. Drops a lot at the first and then sort of evens out towards the end. And we've got to plug in those numbers and then figure out, get an equation, get our A and B value, and then plug five in to figure out the answer. So we know it dropped here like 12, little almost 12, 11.7. Then it dropped 8.3. So it's going to drop a little less than 8.3. So what is that going to be? Well, I can see that it's probably going to be one of these two guys, but we're going to figure it out. Okay. We've got to plug it in and figure it out. So I'm going to go to Desmos and I'm going to put a table in. So let's go to Desmos. I already made the table for you. Remember to make the table. You hit the plus, hit the table, enter your data. So here's the table. If we look at the data, scroll this in a little bit. We can see there are data points, so it's scrolling down. We want to figure it out. So what do we do? Well, let's bring up our little board so we can see. We're going to say Y sub 1 so that it reads our data because our data has a little 1 on it. That's saying, I want you to read my data to make the line or curve, in this case, of best fit. So I then just type 1. It'll automatically put the 1 down there. I now need a little squiggly fella. So you can get it on your keyboard, or if you just hit the ABC, it is right here, right there. It's a little squiggly. I need to do A times B to the X, or you can just do AB. It knows that you mean multiplication. Notice it's starting to pull up some values here. Woo! -hoo. I now need to raise it to a power, so I need to go back in here to my numbers, and I hit the AB button. That's going to bring it up to a power. I need to hit X. Like, wait, nothing's happening because it needs to be X sub one. I got to tell it to read my data. Don't need to do anything to get the sub one. Just hit one right after the X. It knows what you want. Now it comes to the data. It has an R squared correlation coefficient of one, meaning it is a perfect fit. And if you look at it, look, it goes right through our points over here, doesn't it? It's perfect. So now we know A is 80, B is 0 0.707. So we could come back. 80 and point A was 80 and B was a point 707 to the X. And plug, we want to know five, so just plug five in there and you get your answer. The other thing we can do, I can come back here if I want, and I could just simply say, hey, graph me the line X equals five. Here's X equals five. I can see where it's crossing right there. Five at 14.15. It draws a line, boom, I just see where they intersect. Intersects, Y value is 14.15. So if we come back to our problem, choice D is going to be our answer.